Here, the question is: Given the following fragment of code, how many tests are required for 100% decision coverage? This is the code which we need to analyze, and then we have to select the correct option from these options. Let's first analyze the code and parallelly draw the flowchart to get the answer. First line is if width is greater than length. Now let's draw the flowchart for it. Since it is a condition, we have represented like this. Second and third line is then biggest dimension equals to width. That means if this condition is correct, biggest dimension equals to width. Since it is a statement, we have to represent it like this. Now let's analyze line four. If height is greater than width. We have to continue with the same branch, and since it is a condition, we have represented like this. Now let's analyze fifth and sixth line. Then biggest dimension equals to height. That means if this condition is correct, biggest dimension equals to height. Until now. We analyzed first six line of the code. Now the seventh, eighth, and ninth lines are important. Listen to me carefully. In the seventh line, we have end if. This is the end of if statement in fourth line. For your benefit, I am repeating it again. End if on the seventh line. Is the end of if statement in fourth line. Now, if you see between if and end if, there is no else statement. That means if the condition becomes false, we don't have to do anything. Now let's see how to represent it in flowchart. Since nothing is mentioned, we just have to put a line for a false statement. That means if the condition is true, we will follow this path. If the statement becomes false, we have to follow this path. This part of the code is very important. Many do mistake here. They forget to consider this false part. Now let's consider line number eight and nine. The else on the eighth line is for condition on line one, because this if condition is not yet close. Now let's see where to put it in the flowchart. If this condition is false, biggest dimension equals to length. Now let's focus on line number ten. If height is greater than length, this is a condition, so we have to represent it like this in flowchart. Now let's see line number eleven and twelve. Then biggest dimension equals to height. In flowchart, we have to represent it like this. Now let's focus on line thirteen. Line thirteen is end if. This end if is for condition in line ten. And again, since there is not else statement in between, we don't have to do anything. And this is how we have to represent it on the flowchart. Now let's focus on the last line, which is end if. This end if is for the first condition, so this the place where first condition ends. Now let's move to the flowchart. This is how we have to draw the flowchart. Now, using this flowchart, we have to find out how many tests are required for one hundred percent decision coverage. 
To cover 100% decision coverage, we have to cover both the paths. True path and false path. These are the four tests cases we need to cover all the branches. Therefore, the answer is 4 for this question.